Um, let me just explain a couple things. So if so for those who are totally out of the loop and who've never watched before, I've been gone for a while. Um, and I was in VGG. Yes, I was. Uh, I had a, a couple of times where I went in. I was in VGG a couple times. I was over in um, in Chud Logic's chat a couple times. But honestly, most of my time was spent fucking sleeping and like fucking crying. Guys, okay, let me tell you. For those of you who are here and who don't know why the fuck uh, I'm making such a big deal about being back today, it's because I got COVID. Um, I got breakthrough COVID. As in, I have had three boosters and I still got fucking clapped by Omicron. So um, if you think that like you have your boosters so you can go lick doorknobs and be fine, just realize I do not lick doorknobs. I am a bit of a germaphobe. Everybody in my life can tell you that. Um, and I still got fucking COVID. Guys, it fucking blows, okay? Let me tell you, it fucking blows. And I'm not, and I'm not, it's not just a cold, okay? Some people will be like, oh, it's cold symptoms. Some people are very lucky and get away with just cold symptoms. No, COVID is like the worst cold you've ever had mixed with the, the ch a, a small chance of devolving into horrific, like hacking fits that leave you gasping for breath, okay? It is, it fucks with your head for weeks. I've had brain fog since the day that I test, like since the, well, not the day I tested positive, but literally the thing that prompted me to te to te to get the COVID test was because I had such a head cold and I felt so disoriented. The fucking, I swear to God, the, the, the brain fog is so bad. I completely lost my sense of smell and taste for two weeks and it's literally only just coming back like now like i can now taste my fucking soda and shit but no joke it fucks you up okay where my where my partner's okay let me tell you okay we all got covid okay every single person in my household got covid that includes our our wonderful lead mod and my roommate silent um we all got covid um uh fawn probably probably handled it the best fawn is has a really strong immune system and did really well did not really even get a cough f f but fawn got a lot of fatigue um doe got hit really hard with the cough um and it got really I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest it got really scary at one point because there was a point at uh one one point at like the peak of infection where doe could not like for like almost 20 minutes could not catch its breath so it was just coughing and gasping for 20 minutes straight. And I was so scared. Like it, it, it actually made me really fucked up for a couple days. Um, but thankfully, uh, I, 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 I broke out the fucking big guns. Yeah. Got you your medicine you needed. Um, here's a hint. Uh, be adaptive with the medicine that you take. If you do get COVID just as a warning, uh, don't just like grab cough syrup target your symptoms okay so like if you've got a bad cough get the extra strength uh expectorant is what it's called it's uh, like gu guaifesin or something it's mucinex but you want the super strength mucinex that doesn't have any of the cold medicine in it only if you're dealing with the cough if you're dealing with the head cold symptoms get that fucking acetaminophen get that fucking tylenol shit i feel like the cold narrative will only start to get more popular maybe except for the fact that people who actually get COVID will tell you exactly what I'm telling you right now, which is that it fucking sucks. Did I get the deer horse paste? No, fuck no. That's fucking dumb. Drink lean. I, oh, listen, uh, listen, Never mind. Okay. Let's not, let's not go there. I may, there may or may not have been some, uh, technical consumption of lean over the course of this event. Okay. Um, I, I, I'm not a doctor. Talk to your doctor before you consume any, uh, you know, before you do the, uh, the, the iron Zan, you know? Um, yeah. Uh, it, it's, uh, it was really bad. So for me, the, the, like the, the worst of the symptoms were about seven days. So, uh, when I first started noticing it, um, I had fluctuating body temp. So basically I would go from being incredibly, incredibly hot to incredibly incredibly cold like like on a moment's notice it was terrible it was fucking miserable it's just like oh my god i 
yeah, seven days was was the main thing, was the main thing. And then after that, it was just fucking exhaustion. Um, and uh, the exhaustion hasn't gone uh, at all, uh, really, unfortunately. Um, like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Like, uh, maybe I have long COVID. I don't know. There's a very real possibility. I've, I, I still have like a lingering cough and some lingering, um, like nasal shit. Uh, and the brain fog is absolutely still around. The fatigue is unbelievable. Um, like, I think there's a weird thing. Like, I think a lot of people like heard about the first wave of COVID and they haven't like gone and read about the changing symptoms. Did you guys know that one of the things that happens with um with uh Omicron is that you get like really really bad stomach problems? Like it really fucks with your digestive system really bad. Um like I've been I've been fighting against dehydration for since I got infected. It's really really bad. And these this is that was not a symptom that was common with the first wave of COVID. Yeah. Um yeah, it's really not good. Are you... I'm scared? Okay, look. Lo I'm not trying to fear monger at all in any way, shape, or form. But guys, it's a fucking virus. Can you please not, like, um... Can we, can we not, can we not, like, pretend like viruses are, like, weak things? Like, they fuck us. They fuck us up. Yeah, Pedialyte, I... Trust me. I bought a lot of Pedialyte. I drank a lot of Pedialyte. That fucking shit drives me nuts. Um... Yeah, unfortunately, COVID is still, like, rampant and spreading, like, at an insane, like, stomach flu symptoms or just bowel issues. Uh, it's like, uh, I, like, I lost my, I, I lost my appetite. I really haven't gotten my appetite back fully. And I've had, um, like, digestive and bowel issues for the entire time I've been sick. Really sucks. It really sucks. Um, people don't understand how hard brain fog is to overcome. Listen. It literally makes me feel like I have, like, pseudo-dementia, okay? The joke about the cognitive decline arc that people were making before I stopped streaming? Well, little did you all know, I was in the early stages of COVID. Little did I know I was in the early stages of COVID. And that's why. Because it makes your your brain is exhausted from, from fighting it off. Oh, it's so bad. Didn't, did, didn't Vosh get COVID? I don't know if Vosh actually got COVID. Hope I've had my weedies. No weeds today, but I might have weed later. We have a lot to talk about, so maybe I'll smoke later, but we have a lot to get into. Anyway, I wanted to give you my experience with COVID. Um, it was, I came out of the hospital two days ago myself and the brain fog is terrible. I'm really happy you're out of the hospital, Devious Chill, so the brain fog is bad. Guys, um, people don't, people do, uh, people underestimate what, what, what brain first of all people don't know what brain fog means and secondly they underestimate how how rough it is to deal with um when i say brain fog it it's like um okay you know have you ever stayed up really late when you were a kid and you were hanging out with your friends and then late at night and you're like super up super late and you start forgetting like you start struggling to remember any words and all of you just start kind of like babbling and that's like a good experience usually because um, because you're hanging out with your friends and you feel good. But imagine that except you also just feel really fucking tired all the time in the middle of the day. And you're just like, it feels like it's hard to remember words. It feels like it's hard to, to put your, to like get the energy to do anything. It fuck, it's not happy. It doesn't make you happy at all. It fucking sucks. So it's, it's like that, but minus the fun. And it, and every single person I personally know who's had to deal with COVID has had this, has had this symptom. You, it literally makes you feel like, like you're experiencing, I mean, cognitive decline or something. Yeah, I, I know. I already have ADHD. It's, it's bad. Um, did you talk about how bad the COVID brain affects emotions? Oh, I don't even want to talk about that. Listen, that's too personal. I did not have a good time. Every single person in my house uh, like COVID will fuck your mood, by the way, not just from being sick. It causes your mood to go all over the place. These are like documented symptoms. Just go look it up. You guys can go read about this shit on like fucking Mayo Clinic or, or, or w Wikipedia. I am back. 
Because I don't, I don't fucking die to some stupid virus bullshit. Oh, shut up. Mayo. Oh, sh you know what it... Fuck, fuck you. You know what I mean. Yeah, I'm doing all right. Uh, I'm probably going to be on a little bit of a slower schedule until I'm feeling a lot better. But, uh, you know, we've been taking good care of each other. Uh, yeah.